previously on Bold Ambitions. Winning is everything for us. It's really win or bust, we feel like, with this group. Trying to get that first one for the program really means a lot. I think we can do it. I, like, I have no doubt in my mind we can do it this year. This year, new group of guys, a lot of youngins. So I'll just see if we can get there in the end and finally get the chip that we deserve. Every year there's kind of the same expectation. We're here to win and settle for nothing less. What happens this year, Chris Campoli and Luka Demar. Leading a group of 11 guys to war every game. First game of the year is always tricky. Pole bumper is always special. You can kind of dictate your own narrative when it's a fresh start. Queens last year, they're on our list to make up for. And this is a great example today. One, two, three! Go ahead. I know you missed your last one. Remember what happened in playoffs last year? You don't want it. A lot of guys love to talk. Not a lot of guys can back it up, I'd say. Campoli scores! A laser from Chris Campoli! Icing on the cake for TMU. It's, it's, it's a game that um, is different from all the others. It's Of course, it's a derby game. You, you see in real soccer, you know, Madrid versus Barcelona. It's Messi! <laughs> Juventus versus Torino. And Teal back in, and De Ligt! First goal for Juve comes in the derby! Those teams, it's, it's the exact same thing. It's like at the derby, the El Clasico. So there's much more meaning behind that game. You know, we don't like them. It's just that simple. You, know, you don't like UFT, you don't like the guys on the team. I, I like to say, aside from the OUA final, that's the most important game of the season for me. Playing at Varsity Stadium, like under the scenes, I was kind of one of the fields in OUA I've always wanted. It's kind of like a bucket list field. I've always wanted to play at it. The atmosphere is amazing. But that derby, like, it's fun, man. Those are the games you live for, like those do or die, like just fight to the death games. Just that battle for Toronto, a lot of the guys know each other as well. Coaching staffs know each other as well, have good respect for them. You know, sometimes you fight more with your neighbor than you do the guy down the street. there like if you go in the game and you're not ready for it you're gonna get run over to go to that place and try and match that energy that U of T has off the jump it's very hard to do a lot of people there a lot of screaming yelling to be a coach and a player part of it I think it's really special I think those are some of the more fun games that you can play it's just the mentality of I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna play my uh, butt off per se and then come up with come up with the result you just have to work 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 Anyone that plays us is going to say, if we have any chance, we're going to try to win the game the first 10, 15 rounds. Be safe. After that, we'll settle. If we play our game, we're going to be in really good shape. I know it's really the season, and the playoffs are really all that matters. But if you want an easy roll, or easier roll, and be at home more importantly, this weekend is huge. Huge. Friday and Sunday is huge. A way to fight, play the right way, discipline on set pieces, and three points is ours. The seventh in the country, but for me on our day, best team in the country. This is how we prove it. Away. Away in places, this is a true mark for a great team. How you play away from home. Let's go. Being in the city, right, right downtown, lights were on. It was a night game, Friday night lights. And as a player, I thrive for the night games. Come in, we do our work. We do what we're all told to do. We do our roles. We play together. We fight for each other. We Never lost here. Never. It's not going to happen today. It's going to happen today. And, and every year, you always know they're going to be incredibly just well coached, good fighting spirit, defensively strong. That comes standard with every UFT team. There's so many emotions that go flying, right? You just want to keep going and pushing through, but at the same time, you don't want to overdo it. Because when you overdo it, mistakes can happen too.
Sam, but we need to pick up second line. Yeah, so I'm going to switch, up. switch center backs. Look to break the line. Sam, he's showing him pockets hard. Zip it into him. Like, guys, they have him on a single yeah. header. On. Even on our transition on our defense, we're shifting over. It's too slow on our guys, switch. Guys, 1-1 one, one is just perfect here. Let's relax. Of course, we're going to win this game, but do the defensive work first. Be safe. Yeah, I'm here. Let me hear what you have to say. It's absolutely terrible. I think it's a positive that it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, for 100%. sure. Very lucky to be 1-1. One, one. They're all they're killing us. Absolutely killing us. The good news is that half means nothing. There's one half left. That was a wash now. Never happened. But we're losing every 50-50 challenge. In the air, we're not even jumping up. We're ducking our heads. It's a fight today. You can't put your foot on the ball and be cute today. In 10 minutes, if the 11 isn't showing fighting, I'm just bringing fighters up. I don't care about talent or position, just a bunch of fighters that get killed. Fighters, this is what the playoffs are going to be like, exactly like this, and I want fighters. You have 10 minutes, let's go. Let's go, man. It was a tough one, obviously. It didn't quite go our way there at the end, but um, overall a great experience and learning experience for our group. I think historically TMU kind of owns that field. Like I don't think, I think that might have been the first time we ever lost there actually, which is kind of embarrassing to say now. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we're a group of fighters and, and we know how to, how to react in games and what we need to do, what needs to happen, how we need to change our, our game plan or our focus levels. And it just happened, it clicked. and. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of that from us for sure this year. When you play at home in a match like that, you have a leg up like instantly with your energy just because you have the fans and you just, it's your home, right? It's your fortress. You can't drop max points to anybody. I don't think in my seven years we've lost two games to any one team in, the, in, a, in, a, in a regular season. So we knew the importance of that. I don't, I don't know about redemption, but just kind of um, there's a level of just wanting to make it right come Sunday. But we knew the importance of not giving up six points to any one team. That if you do that, you can kind of kiss first or second place goodbye. So, um, yeah, it was just about splitting. It was just about playing our best games at home. It was about um, trying to redo kind of what we didn't kind of finish on Friday. We gave a game away on the other day. It's fine. I should have taken care of it. But I was talking to a few of you on the phone. And I said, look, I'd rather have the lessons than us be perfect the whole way through and then come to playoffs. This happens to be in Learnfield. Today's a brand new day. You know, this is a fortress at Down Zoo. I can count on one hand how many times we've lost here in seven, eight years. I expect another top performance from us. It's a little windy, the conditions are a little tricky. Ready to go? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're not three. We're not three. One, two, three.
time zero three sets. Let's go. Hey, let's start relaxing. Let's go. Really important. Santos and Luca Marco. For the most part, you did a really good job, but don't let those one or two times don't get lazy. That's really fueling your offense. A couple other silly fouls in our own half. Don't fake defend. Don't do it for me. Go up, shuffle your feet, and trap the guy. Don't go and try and win the ball. But other than that, fight, everything really good, but we have to keep our heads. Keep playing. Hey, the next goal buries their spirit. Brace their spirit. We have to score the next goal. Sometimes it's going to be like that. You can win 4-0 in the first half. Some calls go our way, not. But today we proved we can win pretty in ball on teams. We can defend. We can play ugly, dirty. That will serve us really well the rest of the year. Well, the first place is on the board. Well done. Next weekend we take care of business. Well done. Well done. Well done. Game three in the Bucks. W, Derby win, 2-1 UFT. We move. Let's go.